Hello, my name is Mark, creator of the Papa Dent tool. I'd like to show you some unique features about the tool and its uses. So I've actually set up three of the tools here using the hex head nose. I've also set up three using a round shaft. I'm going to show you the comparison between utilizing the hex and utilizing the round. An equal test between the tool tips. So I've placed a line on both of the tools. When we go to rotate our hex head, it doesn't move. The lines stay in a line. However, when we utilize our round one, it moves around. There's no fixed position. So here again, I've marked a tool. There's our lines on our hex shaft. Here's our lines on our round shaft. It spins. We have an irregular round tip here. So when we go to apply our hex head, we're able to push it in the position, in a fixed position that we want. When we use the round one, it doesn't want to stay in any certain area. It wants to spin, making it impossible to accurately remove the dents out of this plate. Here again, we have our marks lined up with our hex head. We have our lines marked up with our round tip. When we go to apply pressure, the tip wants to rotate, making it nil impossible to actually get these dents out of this license plate or other foreign metals. On this one here, it stays where we want it. We can rotate it, we can push it. Using the hex tip and spring pressure, we're going to remove the dings out of this license plate. We're going to apply pressure. The tool does not snap because it's actually utilizing the pressure of the spring that's in housed in here. If we go and try to utilize the round one, we cannot get an act, it, it just won't stay where we want it to stay using the round tip. It keeps moving. Utilizing our half round on our hex shaft and applying pressure, we can actually remove the dents. The spring pressure is what's removing the dents. If we try to utilize the round shaft, again, it doesn't allow us to actually stay in a fixed position it wants to just move around and we cannot really operate this tool efficiently. Utilizing our hex shaft with our round barrel head, we're going to apply pressure here and roll it. We're using the spring pressure again that's inside the housing to actually remove the dents. Here using the round shaft, the round shaft wants to spin off the bit and it spins. Let's line them up. Let's give it a try. Again, we cannot apply proper pressure in these areas because a tool pit wants to follow the lines because it actually spins. Utilizing different spring pressures in our housing above will create different results. The white is light, yellow is medium, and red is heavy. If we install our white one, it'll give us less pressure to remove light material, dents. Utilizing the red spring actually creates a much harder force and you really need to apply a lot of pressure to actually remove dings and dents out of different materials. With the tool tip removed, our tip has an almost flat radius in it. Our tip is ground in such a way that it's irregular. 
as it comes across, it's at, a, at an extreme angle inside the housing, utilizing the spring, which has to be at this angle, works with this spring or the other springs to actually allow the tool to properly work. The spring cannot be straight or the tool will just not work. It needs to be kinked. Unlike conventional snap tools, conventional snap tools, this would be flat or it would have a radius. The radius on the trip pin would actually match those. Our tool tip actually has a radius in here. It's not flat, which allows this to be kinked so our spring and our housing can actually push our dings dent out of the material. The tool tip is designed to take different tool tips quickly and easily. Making this tool versatile for many uses. It's as simple as that. Just install the bit that you'd like to utilize to make your repairs. Let's take a close look up using the hex head and applying pressure we're able to remove the dings. We can roll the tool in the edges of the plate and we can come in here and you can actually see the plate moving. Now let's try that with our round tip tools. We cannot accurately get in here and do this because the tool tip actually wants to spin. Here's the round with the chisel bit. And again, we can't apply any pressure to remove the dents. And here's our barrel tip and it just wants to move. We're, we're unable to actually get a fixed position on this that's accurate to actually remove these dings and dents. My name is Mark with Scared Shipless and I want to thank you for watching.